today let us start the first chapter in history that is medieval europe rise and spread of christianity now when we study history we tend to classify or divide the events into three periods that is the ancient medieval and modern the ancient period starts from the earliest times to the 8th century so what we have learned in the 6th standard that is the beginning of various civilizations flourishing of civilizations the gupta empire the mauryan empire will all fall under the ancient times and the modern period starts from the 19th century onwards till date now what is medieval period medieval period the term medieval comes from a latin word medium aegum which means middle ages that is why you can see here it is in the middle between the ancient times and the modern times the medieval period in india covers a large span that is why it is again divided into the early medieval period and the later medieval period the early medieval period extends from the 9th century to the 12th century the later medieval period extends from the 13th century to the 18th century and the delhi sultanate the coming of the sultans to our country the conquer the rule of the delhi sultans that is from the 13th century to the 16th century ce and the rule of the mughal dynasty from the 16th century to the 18th century ce falls under later medieval period we are going to learn about this later in class 7 now the medieval period in india does not correspond to the medieval period in other parts of the world for instance in medieval europe the sorry in europe the medieval period is from the 600 ce to 1500 ce the transition from the ancient period to the medieval period had brought about many changes and development in our country and all over the world the most remarkable development that has taken place around in the world is the beginning of a major religion that is christianity now what is christianity christianity is the religion that is based on the teachings of jesus christ that is jesus christ is the founder of christianity now who was jesus christ let us learn about jesus christ he was born in bethlehem in palestine near jerusalem now about the birth date of jesus christ it is not clearly stated in the uh, books but the scholars believe that he was born between the 4th century to the 6th century bc his real name was yeshua pronounced as joshua in english but the jews okay he was a jew called him christ which is a greek word for messiah okay let me tell you about jew the parents of jesus christ mary and joseph was jew jews and they practiced a religion known as judaism now during those time the jews were ruled by the romans and they believed it was mentioned in their holy scriptures that one day god will send a messiah 
a savior, okay, Messiah, a savior who will free them from the Roman domination. So that is why he was called as the Christ, which stands for Messiah. Now, when did this thing happen in history? Let us try to understand with the help of a timeline. Now, what is a timeline? A timeline is a graphical or a visual representation of events that has been taken place in the past. Now, if you see this timeline, here you have before Christ. So, the years or the events that occurred before this will come under BC, 500 BC. It is before the Christ was born. And the later years from the 1st century C, later years are referred to as Anno Domini, after Jesus Christ was born or in the year of the Lord. So the events that occurred before BC here, before the Christ was born and the events that occurred here are referred to as AD or Anno Domini. It is also referred to as CE, Common Era. This is a time period where Jesus was born. This part what is highlighted here from 500 CE to 1500 CE refers to the medieval times in Europe. Now let us learn about the religious belief in Christianity. The people who followed Christianity are known as Christians. And the holy book is the Bible. The Bible, which is the holy book of the Christians, is divided into two, that is, Old Testament and the New Testament. The first part of the Bible is the Old Testament and what does it consist of? It consists of the history of the Jews. That means the religion that they follow and they follow the religion of Judaism. The laws that they have practiced, the different types types of customs. They also had different religious practices. The different gods that they worshipped before Jesus Christ was born. Everything is laid down in the Old Testament. The New Testament consists of the lives, the biography of Jesus Christ along with all the teachings of Jesus Christ. So the Bible is made up of the Old Testament which is also known as the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament. Now what about the belief in God? The Christians believe in the Holy Trinity. What is this Holy Trinity? That is, the Holy Trinity consists of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God the Father is said to be very loving, benevolent, how the Father is to his children. The God the Son refers to Jesus Christ and God the Holy Spirit is the spiritual being that guides our conduct. Though the Christians believe in the Trinity of God, they believe that these, this Trinity is a manifestation of one spiritual being. That is why Christianity is known as monotheistic religion. Mono refers to one. Theism refers to belief in God. So though they believe in the Trinity of God, they believe that this Trinity is a manifestation of one supreme spiritual being, the Lord. That is why it is known as the monotheistic religion. So in today's class, 
we have learned about the different period namely the ancient the medieval and the modern period we have learned about a new religion christianity the birth of christianity and about the religious belief in christianity in the next class we are going to learn about the various teachings of jesus christ thank you